God. He takes that so easily. It's like not even close. Takes that so easily. What? I can't do this, dude. <laughs> I hate YouTube. Oh. What's going on, boys? It's your boy, <laughs> Pokemon Challenges. <laughs> oh, what's up? What's up? I'm Pokemon Challenges. I'm probably the best Nuzlocker in the world. And today, we're going to be watching RT Games Nuzlocking Heart Gold. This is a series where we look at uh, other content creators doing Nuzlocks, and we judge it from our pro Nuzlocker 3,000, 4,000 hour experience perspective as kind of an educational resource for you as the viewer to get better at your own Nuzlocks. Hey, look at these two graphs on the screen right now. One of them shows how many people watch my videos. The other one shows how many people subscribe. That's a big difference in the graph. Make sure to subscribe because a, a lot of you think that you're subscribed but you're actually not because you get my videos recommended to you, but you're not actually, so, so click the subscription thing and also the bell, I guess, I don't know, leave a comment. Anyway, RT Games. Um, I had no idea Russia Today had a gaming channel, so uh, I'm excited to check that one out. It's a little a little weird, I didn't think so, but we're here um, and I guess that's, that's what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, full disclosure, I've never seen any of their content before in my life, uh, no idea. I've looked at their channel a little bit, but people were telling me to react to this, so we're doing that. I'm keeping you guys on screen as long as you're not cringe. As soon as you are cringe, I'm taking you guys off, okay? All right, awesome. This is your probation period. Hey, if you're watching, look at all the cool people in chat. You can join them at twitch.tv slash Pokemon Challenges for daily-ish streams. All right, cool. Let's watch RT Games. This game is a timeless classic. This was the height of Pokemon 3D models back in the day too. So what do we call a trainer? Mickey D. Yeah, the president of Ireland. It's perfect. What are you staring oh at? Oh God, he's doing character okay, see voices. see you later, friend. So first thing that we're gonna figure out is what are his actual rules? And is this a randomizer or not? I guess the randomizer part is about to be revealed to us. One of the Pokemon. I, I will say I really like the way he just jumps into the content immediately. No intro, no calls to action. No f annoying, oh, uh, you, did you know you're not actually subscribed to the channel? Me, 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 me. No, no f hey, here's the rules I play with. It's just straight to the f point. I love it. Our options are Chikorita, Totodile, Cyndaquil. It's Chikorita. No, it, it's Cyndaquil. It's Cyndaquil by a landslide. So an important- Okay, so this is not randomized. Okay, cool. So we can actually talk about sh That's awesome. All right, Cyndaquil, in my opinion, usually the best starter here. Um, helps you with the bug gym, obviously, and shit like that. But more importantly, I usually recommend in vanilla games, you just take the fire starter because grass starters suck and there's way too many water types to be caught. Fire types are rare and very useful, so you should always pick them. Pokemon oh, here we go. Run. Okay. Is if a Pokemon ever faints in a yep. battle, it is permanently dead. Yeah. You cannot use items like revive. You either release it on the spot or you can put it into like a graveyard in your PC. On top oh, so of he that, sprinkles the rules throughout the content. That's really cool. The first Pokemon you encounter on each route. Okay. So if I walk okay. onto this next route and it's a hoo-hoosh, I have to catch the hoo-hoosh. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna lose a few routes because of this at the start, because we don't actually have Pokeballs. So I'm yep. gonna say that we're gonna make a rule that when we first get Pokeballs, then we start tracking that bit. That's, uh, in our that's the standard rule, yeah. That's usually what you do. A lot of people also go for like, you can't lose Pokemon. Like you can't, if your Pokemon faints, it's dead. Doesn't take effect until you have Pokeballs. I don't play with that. You can play with that. It's a very minor thing. It doesn't really matter. In case we will, we're going to accept any gift Pokemon that we Receive, we're going to allow those. Well, if you lose all okay. your Pokemon, well, you fail. You've lost. That's the challenge. Oh, I'm yep. sorry, I forgot you weren't. Um, as for gift Pokemon, a lot of people play this differently. Like a lot of people say, gift Pokemon are like separate. To me, I think the gift Pokemon is your encounter for that specific area. So, for example, that Cyndaquil is your encounter for uh, your hometown in Hard Gold Soul Silver, which name escapes me at this moment. But you wouldn't be able to like fish there and get another encounter in that case. Where in the running? Generally, every question to do with encounters ever can be solved by one thing. For my rule sets, look at the Pokemon stats, like go go into its summary, see where it was caught. If that's the first encounter on that route, then that's your encounter for that route, and you can't get any more on that route. Okay, we, we okay so he is using healing items in battle. Pretty standard stuff. I personally don't, but um, I think one of the biggest things to look out for in these runs when I watch people do these runs is how well do they use healing items. 
Because if you're using healing items, that means you haven't realized how broken they are, that because and that means that you're not good enough with them yet. So the better you get at potion using potions and shit, the more you realize how broken they are. So it seems like he's not at that stage yet, but maybe he's approaching it, or maybe he'll approach it by the end of the run. We'll see. Beat the toad dial. It's a Pidgey. I'm trying to think what Pokemon. It's not bad. Will. It's not amazing. I think Rattata is a premier encounter here. Guts Rattata is super f***ing busted. Um, Pidgey's not bad. It's not great. It evolves kind of early. It, it's just like your average flying type. It doesn't do anything super well. It's not super offensive. It's not super defensive. It's just like kind of in the middle. It's an okay encounter. Do you ask mom to save money in Huggles to Silver Nuzlocke? I like the berries plus you can get a choice scarf. Yes, I think you should ask your mom to save your money. Uh, choice scarf alone makes it super worth it. Choice scarf is a ridiculously broken item. Compound eyes sleep powder butterfree is f***ing incredible. It's really, 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 really good. It falls off very quickly as soon as you get deeper into the game, but for the like, first three, four gym badges, this is an incredible encounter. Super underrated. So I'm True. gonna call this one fodder. Welcome to the team. The alternative name was bird food. He's not gonna use this, is he? Sag. We got the good one. We did it. That's, good that's, encounter. that's probably the best thing we can catch on that route, I think. Probably. Is that the, I don't know what else is on that route, but Mareep is great. Early Fluffy Evolution, early Ampharos Evolution, great for mid game. Good Pokemon. Good, like, special ball, because very slow is the only thing, but good good encounter for sure. I mean, like, you could use them to sacrifice it, to sacrifice, or you could just train them up and use them as real team members. Although I do realize that most people just don't want to go through the process of grinding up all their Pokemon, especially if they're, like, streaming and stuff. To me, I've just found a way to make that part of the stream, but I know a lot of content creators don't want to do that, and I totally understand. Just saying, like, for you as a viewer, if you're looking to optimize your play, if you're looking to get better, one of the easiest ways is to actually start using these low value Pokemon instead of just not leveling them and boxing them or keeping them as like one hit absorb and sacrifice Pokemon. That's like one of the very, very first things you can do. That Like do that and buy a lot of potions and you're already better than 99% of Nuzlockers. Come on, Crumpet. Pidgeotto. This one's a little stronger. Yeah, it's using a tackle. How much does this do? He's fine. Just 10. Oh. He's gonna get the static proc eventually on him tackling. He's gonna be able to potion up. Even through roosts and everything. He should be completely fine here in my opinion. We're fine. Oh, it's got roost. Okay, Crumpet. You're gonna keep zapping it. We just need to get like three crits in a row. He keeps using roost. How much PP does it have? What's it 10? Because we definitely have- So the problem what's going on here is Pidgeotto is faster, so its Roost is losing its flying typing, which is going to make Thundershock deal half damage, right? So eventually, all he needs is a Paralysis, so he's always faster than this, so Roost goes second, so he doesn't lose his flying typing. Boom, and you win. More with Thundershock. We just might be here a while. Dude, just, just give up. Let's go for the kill. We're okay. good. We're in the clear. Crumpet is safe. Look, it was under control, go. all right? I knew what I was doing. Crumpet has taken the was first Was he in crit gym. range there for that last tackle? Mm, yes, absolutely. Tackle was dealing 10 and he was sitting at 17. He needed to play right. Like he needed to heal out like over level, over 20 HP there always. That's just a mistake. That's just one in 16 will lose the run there. Just something to keep in mind. You know, always be aware of how much damage your opponent is doing and how, would he, how much he could do with a crit. That's a really easy thing you can do too. All right. I knew what I was doing. Crumpet has taken the first gym. She learned Thunder Wave too. That's actually really handy. You can paralyze on command. Nikki D received a Zephyr badge from Faulkner. We're one down. Okay, cool. Love Evolution. Nice. Your Arson. Has Beautiful Pokemon. The only, maybe the only cool Pokemon out of all the Gen 2 starter lines. Okay, he's getting Pretty fluffy. Here we go. I, he's going to run into sure. it. Fun fact, you can't consistently dodge spinners in Gen 4. There's no way to do it. It's just RNG. All right, Alex gosh. Forrest, he gets the Togepi. Oh, did he not get an encounter on this route yet? Okay, interesting. Clear the trees. Oh, sweet. We got he a actually, Heracross. He, isn't that really rare? Isn't that like a 5%? That's insane. Yeah, you get Aerialist at 13 and Brick Brick at 19. Okay, yeah, this thing is insane. All right, that's. I don't have to tell you that's a fantastic encounter. Great typing, gets Brick Brick early, super high attack. Like, this is obviously great. Get in the ball. Two, three. Worth noting too that this has good synergy with his other main team members because right now he has a ground weakness with Mareep and Quilava, which Heracross covers. Two, three. We got it. Number I love Voltorb Flip. Just wanted to say that. Vol Voltorb. It's some of the most powerful TMs in the. 
Yeah, you can. I I will sit down at that table and Voltorb flip for three hours and just get my Pokemon the best possible moves there. Just saying. I guess that's what he's no, doing too. Again. Willy Wonka has joined the team. Oh, he's just gonna buy Dratini. That also works. Yeah, Dratini is pretty fucking good. <laughs> that definitely works too. Very right, let's watch the Whitney scary fight. Scary fight. Okay, break, break it. Let's go, Fairy. Um, hot take. He's probably gonna sweep this with Heracross. Yeah, what was that like 16 damage? It's like a fort KO. He's so fine. Oh, thank God we that just works. got a crit. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. Makes it way easier when you just kill it in one shot. But even without oh, that crit, he was super fine there. Afterwards. Uh, we have Egg, we have Wonka, we have Crumpet, we have the Yeetle, we have Arson, and newly acquired, we now have Noodle. I, I want a fodder. All right, Eevee, pretty good encounter. Obviously very versatile. Oftentimes your best play with the Eevee is actually just to let it, leave it in the box and wait until you really need a Pokemon of a specific typing and then go for the Eevee Lucian. I would say that, that a lot of people ask me is like, oh, my, my EV has this and this nature. Should I evolve into this or this? And it's like your nature or your IVs probably shouldn't determine what you evolve your EV into. What determines what you evolve your EV into in your Nuzlocke should always be what kind of type do you need right now? Otherwise, you just save it. Because worst case, you use Toxic Stall Umbreon for the Elite Four because that's always good. Who will make the Pokemon appear? I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Here we go. Scary fight. Four Pokemon. Come on, Egg. Okay, Mean Look is good. Every time they use Mean Look, it's basically a free kill. Curse is the one I'm scared of, because Curse means I'll have to switch. Ooh, he's I just using Extra Sensory Togetic for this fight. It's interesting. I wonder what I would have done with the team that he has. Dratini seems okay. I mean, like, this is okay. Togetic stats kind of suck. This is actually a pretty damn good option to do this. You could also use, like, Feint Attack Pseudo Widow, but you obviously take more damage from, like, Shadow Ball, right? Ideally, I want him to go into his Gengar immediately after this because Gengar is the biggest threat. I do not account for hypnosis. Uh, Egg, I'm just going to need you to wake up real quick. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, don't take any chances. Egg woke up. Oh my god. We going to play this game, Marty? Wonka can kill it. I mean, like, as long as he always switches when Haunter goes for the curse, I think he's always winning here, right? I think he should be fine. I don't know if this Haunter has mean look. He's paralyzed now too. Like I don't see how he loses against this haunter at all. And Wonka can like live a hypnosis. Well, like I have a higher chance of waking up from the hypnosis. Come on, get this nice. thing down. Dragon rage it. He does have a higher chance of waking up from hypnosis, right? Because he has shed skin. Yeah, good point. Very good play. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's time to sacrifice Meta. Really? What is this Gengar going for? I don't know if he needs to sacrifice here. Metapoc. He has fulfilled his- If you- the thing is, this doesn't have Sludge Bomb, right? So this Gengar will always go for Shadow Ball. Why not take the free switch into Togetic? If you know that he's gonna Shadow Ball. How do you know he's gonna Shadow Ball? Well, you can learn, look up his learn set, see what his strongest move is in that point, and Gengar's probably gonna go for that, especially if he sees a kill. His purpose. <laughs> but, Goodbye, I mean, Metapod. if you don't care about your Metapod, I guess well. it doesn't matter. Can I Encore him? Ooh, are we gonna see why Encore is the best move in all of Nuzlocking here? Okay, all I right. guess we are. He's Encored into Hypnosis. This oh yeah, he was slower, so he hypnotized, obviously. Um, but that's fine, being Encored into Hypnosis is okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. Pretty sure the only way this Gengar can hit your Togetic is Dream Eater, right? There's like a really cheesy strategy you can do here. For all you new Nuzlockers out there trying to beat Heart Gold Soul Silver, here's a really cheesy strategy for this fight. You guys ready? Yeah, so the only way this Gengar can hit your normal types is Sucker Punch. So all you have to do is have one normal type and one non normal type and just let him put your normal type to sleep. And then switch between your normal type and your non-normal type until he's out of sucker punches. He might mean look you at some point though. So I guess that wouldn't work. But literally all you need here is a normal type that doesn't have an attacking move. And you just spam that until he's out of his five sucker punch PP. And then he can't damage your normal type. Boom. Yes. So this Haunter I think also only has sucker punch and nightshade as damaging moves. So you should always be fine. Look very fast. Also, Sucker Punch just doesn't deal that much damage because it's a physical move, and Haunter and Gengar have shit for physical attacks, so you're probably going to be fine anyway. Fashionable. He'd probably be an Instagram influencer. There we you go. can also just heal through the Sucker Punch damage. So I think this fight is always just free, huh? 
We have to sacrifice noodles. You gotta live dangerously sometimes. Let's go. I think a thunder shock won't kill. Oh. Actually, fantastic call. Yeah, thunder shock doesn't kill there. A crit kills. Maybe a high roll would have done it. Maybe if this was modest, it would have killed. But um, that's actually some pretty good damage range judging. Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, it's on perfect range. There was probably a better way to couch this, but you know, a safer way to couch this. But I mean, good on him. It's more hype for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> we knocked it out of the park. We got a Gyarados on the team. <laughs> Come on, Arson. Okay, if she goes into Steelix next, that's ideal because that means I get a really good switch. Perfect. Level 35. Come on, Gilbert. Okay, we get He's playing on set mode, by the way. I just realized. That's pretty good. Gets the Intimidate on the Steelix, goes into Gyarados. He probably has Surf, I'm attack, guessing. Which is pretty good. And it missed his Screech, Screech miss. Yeah, he's going to go for the Surf here. A Gyarados physical attack, much better than a special attack. So ideally, you want to use physical water moves. But Surf is definitely its best move here, no doubt. As well, this is perfect. We get the hit with a super effective stab surf, and it's a two shot KO. It's it's just setting up sand. Yeah, he's okay. right. super Steel fine here. Completely wasted its life. We're fine. <laughs> Couldn't have worked out better. Red Turns out when you make a game non linear and you have to make all like three of the gym leaders fightable in any order, you can't make any of them too hard. They all have to be beatable at this point because you just had to have that non-linear gameplay. Non-linear. God, Johto sucks so much. Yeah, he should be super do, fine. We can just kill it. Perfect. That was a tough pack done. We're, he we're, did not need the crit there. <laughs> we'll, um, well, he needed the crit to win a KO, I think, but it's not like Pillow Swine does a lot of damage, and then he just sweeps with Amphoros. God, the gym leaders in this game suck so much. God damn. <laughs> That we did it. Okay, Magmar, little... Man, he's too good for this game. He's not going to lose any Pokemon. He, he got too lucky with encounters, and he's too good. God, this game is so anticlimactic, man. This is like the conclusion of the rocket arc in this game. Well, that it's not happened. the final fight, right? But oh my god, he's got six Pokemon. He's got a coughing. <laughs> Jesus, and his first one's level 30. How much has he got to throw at us? Like, every trainer up until now has been like... Yeah, I'm gonna use like a level 20 Rattata. You guys got a full stack. Yeah, it's almost like this game is a terrible level curve. Team. Oh no. Oh. oh, that's scary. This is Gen 4 self destruct, so it still halves your defense. I think he's dead oh, here, right? Oh god. He might live that. It's really close. No, not a critical. Oh my god. I think he could have barely lived that. Correct play there is probably to switch to Gyarados. Nothing here takes a crit self-destruct. I guess the correct play would have been to bring your pseudo widow or your Geodude to this fight if you didn't want to lose a Pokemon. Or just sacrificial Pokemon to switch into your into self-destructs. That can also work, but they don't always self-destruct, so it's a little awkward. I think I mean like if to take a non-crit self-destruct Gyarados switch would have been correct, but he would have died to crit anyway because this crit goes through the attack drop from Intimidate. So I think just like actually bringing a rock type of this fight was probably the play. Oh no, that's a hard loss. Couldn't he have been a Typhlosion at this point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, uh, but I mean, again, he's not really grinding for these, but I, I guess preparing for a fight like that could have been good. He's also kind of going blind, so he doesn't know about the self destruct shit. Honestly, for what happened, this is probably like an okay result. It's not the worst thing in the world that would happen here. He was probably, if you go into that fight blind, you're probably going to lose a Pokemon to self destruct. What are you going to do? Although losing your Quilava is not the best, obviously. I've grinded up all of the- Ooh, he grinded Pog. Level 50 Dragonair. Holy sh**. And 40 on the others. And wow, look at this amazing sixth Pokemon that he decided to grind up as well. He took all that time to grind his entire team up. And he just added zero new Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just very confused by that decision, I guess. I believe I have enough rare candies for it so that I could just get a Dragonite if I want one. Yeah, I have five. You want to just start this by getting Dragonite? Yeah, so welcome back to the Nuzlocke. It's been two months. <laughs> Wonka's level 55 now. Uh, Wonka is unbelievably Did he take two months to grind here? Now. Oh god, he has Dragon. Oh god, this learn set is hurting my eyes. <laughs> he has Dragon Rush and Dragon Dance, and then he has Surf and Ice Beam. <laughs> Uh, oh man, I wonder if this Dragonite's gonna completely sweep the rest of the run. I guess we'll see.
Here we go. So this is the scariest gym leader in the game, and it's specifically because of Kingdra. The that Gyarados. is true. The Kingdra is scary. I agree with that. Like hard to find something that actually hits it, and it can hit you pretty hard. Um, is this the scariest gym in the game? Yeah, probably. Uh, obviously, leading with Ampharos here would have been better, but he can just switch it in. It's probably fine. I forgot about this. Okay, that's fine. I can switch. Crumpet can tank a hit. Set amount of damage. That's fine. Crumpet is quite badly injured but we will guarantee kill this with a discharge. We can probably heal. It's not scary with a level 55 Dragonite. Oh yeah, I forgot how dog the level curve of this game is. The Kingdra's like level 40, right? <laughs> Against a Dragonair, as long as she doesn't go straight into Kingdra, we'll be okay. No, it's not the time. The Dragonairs do no Dragon Pulse, so we gotta be mindful of that in case we're forced to use Wonka. I don't know if this will one-shot kill, but definitely two. Yeah, not one-shot. Bastard. <laughs> You're only delaying the inevitable. Right, there's a level 41 Kingdra. I wonder if his 14 levels higher Dragonite is going to do something about it. This is where the real battle begins. Okay, Egg, this is this is very dangerous. Dragon Pulse, that's fine. That's fine. So what I'm trying to do is get an Intimidate off so that Outrage isn't nearly as strong. Because Outrage Good play. is the thing I'm scared of the most. Good play. Gilbert can tank this reasonably okay. Yeah, he's doing it. He's playing this pretty well. He's oh. using his resources before immediately switching to Dragonite. This is actually like, pretty well played. Good job. God, that does nothing. Okay, Dragon Rage did more. We popped the berry. Uh, it's a battle of attrition from here. <laughs> he should be another, fine, right? Another Dragon. I think he actually doesn't need Dragonite for this at all. I think Gyarados alone should be able to do it. Dragonite should do it. Super fine. He's completely uh, fine here. We should be okay. If he doesn't get crit. Oh, it doesn't have Outrage. Yep. Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't think this thing had Outrage. I I, I was I believed him because I thought he just looked it up. But yeah, I don't think this has Outrage at all. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Wait, she has the recharge. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, for f sake, Gil Love to see it. <laughs> okay, Gilbert's just struggling. Like, we need to get Gilbert out of there. The accuracy. Um, I think Heracross does really well here. Heracross has really decent special bulk, and it could, could deal a lot of damage back to it. Obviously, Dragonite would also be great here. You don't really care about it. I, I'm pretty sure Dragon Pulse is a 3 at KO. It might be a 2 at KO, actually. I'm not really sure about the level advantage there. Um, but Heracross would do completely fine, and so would Ampharos, actually. See, drops are making it hard. All right, we're chancing the Yeetle. Come on. Good choice. God. He takes that so easily. It's like not even close. Takes that so easily. Oh, no! He's gone. Unless he gets crit, He's I guess. He's gone. He's been yeeted. Oh, shit. That's pretty unfortunate. I actually thought he would take that. Um, I'm not going to lie. I thought he could take a crit there. That must have been pretty close pretty surprised by the fact that he died to crit there actually it's like 150 i mean yeah that's a lot of power but heracross normally has like pretty good special bulk even the best nuzlocker in the world is wrong in his damage calc sometimes oh it is sniper oh sh oh so my damage calc was correct i just didn't account for sniper holy f i'm so good at this game jesus christ oh i'll kill you <laughs> Finish the job, Crumpet. I mean, yeah, he's fine now because he has to recharge, but losing Heracross obviously sucks. Oh, you bastard. Crit Hyper Beam. There was nothing we could do. There was nothing we could do. The Yeetle's been yeeted. Level 45, ho, -ho. The, We are just going to throw the Master Ball, but the music is just very good. The, uh, this is like a bop in battle scene. I just like to say, from the skills that RT Games has presented in this run so far he could easily beat this nuzlocke without catching this i think he totally has the ability to do it 100 percent. i legitimately think like i don't know if rt games will ever watch this you easily have the ability to beat this game without that ho 100 percent. you're good enough we've made it this is the final battle for this region Round one. Oh, perfect. This is doubly weak. Good start. Good start. Uh-oh. Wait, that just learns it, I think. No. no, he uses it, and he gets a power boost. We learned that from the XQC run. Don't get paralyzed. That's still not a lot of damage at all. He should be totally fine on the will fight here. One down. I 
don't like that. Oh, that He's was got the signal beam. Good, good, good on him learning that. We're gonna, a good we're idea. gonna be in crit kill range. Of okay, so you're definitely in range to get killed there. Um, I, I think you can just hyper potion, right? And you're completely fine. Um, although if you hyper potion and the knee hits you again, you're probably in crit range, so you probably want to switch here. I would say Gyarados seems okay here. This Jinx is a little spooky, I'm not going to lie. I feel like at 3-8 KO is everything on his team and outspeeds them, right? I don't know how well Ho-Oh does against this. That seems like the most reasonable switch, though, because you're probably that's probably your most defensive Pokemon here. A lot. I don't like that. But there's no real way around it. <sighs> it's not great. Oh, yeah. that's horrible. Okay. You got to switch again. He's actually Do just not crit. staying in. That is brave as f You are dead to crit now. I'm pretty sure he could have played around that still by just switching again. Unfortunate. <laughs> punished is what we say to that. Always punished. I'm pretty sure Ho-Oh would have taken three psychics easily. Maybe drop into crit would have killed it. But if you get dropped, you can always switch and like heal. I feel like you never stay in after getting dropped like that. It's it's unlucky for sure, but like all that's what Nuzlocks are about is playing around those unlucky situations so they don't happen to you, right? Right. Time for the failsafe. Sacred fire. <laughs> Incinerate him. We will bow down to our overwhelming power. Okay, lead would hit him on top. Okay, I need dragon dance. I'm gonna do this twice and see if I can one shot kill everything. Do it three times. Is the plan just Dragon Dance until we kill? Welcome to Dragon Dance and Nuzlocke. That's exactly what you do. That's exactly why it's so f powerful. Yep. If you find a Dragon Dance Sweeper, you can win any fight as long as you plan around its first Pokemon. You're going to be okay. Dragon Dance is absolutely busted. God, this theme is so good. Here we go. I would... I would definitely leave this Gyarados alive so he can set up dra Dragon Dances on it because I think everything else is going to be harder to set up on. So I think killing this with Ampharos is actually a mistake. That's something, if you are playing with Dragon Dance and set up strats, that's the kind of mindset you have to be, be into. What's his weakest Pokemon? What can I set up on? And don't kill that Pokemon, but just set up on it. That should be your mindset. Okay, we get the easy bit out of the way. Gyarados should be clean sweep. Crumpet just needs to use one move on it. It's dead. Please just don't hurt me for too much. It's gonna be fine. Good to know that a crit could have killed us. Could have done. That's close, actually. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Gyarados is the easy one. Now, at some point, we need to heal Crumpet as well. He's going straight for Dragonite. Okay. Right. Okay. This is where Fodder needs to go in. Okay, Jesus, locked into Outrage now. Outrage. That's a little spooky. You served us well, Fodder. If this Ice Beam doesn't kill, we are screwed. I would probably just... Oh, does he have Ice Beam on something? He has Ice Beam on his Dragonite, and he's just faster. That works. Oh, yeah, he did bring an Ice Beam Pokemon. Right, we saw that earlier, that Dragonite has Ice Beam. Oh, yeah, he's super fine. He's just going to outspeed all the... Dragonites because he's six levels higher or one he might not outspeed the final 55 one right it depends on his nature and IVs here but he might he's one level higher but also that Dragonite is gonna have 30 IV speed and he might not so I guess we'll see but he should also be able to take a hit from it we are screwed in every sense but we have to try it ice beam that's gonna kill for sure Yeah. We're good. Perfect. He's going into another Dragonite. If we can knock all three out. Oh, is his highest level 50? I'm just bad. Yeah, never mind. Okay, then he's completely fine. He's one. Okay. Right now, that would be perfect. Don't live it. This is where level advantage is pretty huge, Two. huh? Please send out the third one. Perfect. That's, that's the best outcome we could have got. It's just a Charizard and Aerodactyl now. Okay, so there's two options here, right? I could still Ice Beam. It's still weak. I don't know if it would kill. It's not times four anymore. Aerodactyl um, it's not gonna. I 
think it's not going to kill. Aerodactyl is really frail. I think he'll live one Ice Beam, though. Um, but you shouldn't die to anything it can throw at you. So you're probably also slower, though. I don't know about level advantage here. You could Dragon Dance, maybe. You could, like, Dragon Dance and heal up. That seems really reasonable. Dactyl will hit very hard in return. Let's just see if we're okay. Fun fact, Aerodactyl's attack is actually kind of It doesn't do that much damage. It's just very fast. Okay. It's only times two now. It might not do enough. Yeah, that does quite kill. He's actually already faster because of level advantage, so he's super fine here. It's not going to kill him. Oh, we're fine! Yep. Oh, it didn't... All that time ago, Mom was by our side. She was oh, part of the... Oh, he's scarfed? Oh, was I just not listening? That makes so much more sense. Okay, yeah, then he was always fine. Then Dragon Dance doesn't make sense either. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, Choice Scarf Dragonite destroys this fight. Yeah, no shot. Okay, yeah, that's actually a much better strategy than what I suggested. Send in Spicy Burp. Now, do I use Spicy Burp for this, or do I try and get around the Crumpet? I think I have to try and get around the Crumpet. Come on, Crumpet. I will say, he didn't even really use Ho-Oh that much. He only used an overlevel Dragonite. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll give this one to him. And like cool of him did. for playing on set mode. Yeah, I agree. Oh my, gotta heal up. As long as this doesn't... <gasps> Focus band? Focus sash, okay. Okay. Wait, why is he surprised? Oh, yes! I mean, good on him for equipping that. I just don't understand why he's surprised. <laughs> Finish it! <laughs> good shit. It's a good item. Love Focus Sesh. We did it. It's he might have forgotten about it. It's done. He might have forgotten about it. The ring has been destroyed. Crumpet's alive. We've become truly... So, a lot of people ask me, when does the Gen 2 Nuzlocke end? I personally think it ends at red. I think that's what he's doing too, so... Let's follow his journey to red. Good job on beating Lance there. It's not bad. Pretty good elite four run. Considering he basically used like three Pokemon. Bringing in Wonka Ooh, on anything. Well, is this going to explode? Because I'm just out of power. Uh oh. He should live non crit. Oh. I think he lives non crit. Yeah, he's okay. This is going to live, right? Oh. oh. He's fine. Just don't crit and he's oh, fine. No. Don't crit and he's fine. Don't crit and he's fine. That's a crit, right? Yep. Oh god! Wait, is that not a crit? Did he die to non-crit there? Wait, how bad is Ho? -Oh? Four levels down. No EVs. <laughs> yeah, true. Alright, well, looks like he's only down to his Dragonite. Oh no, however will he do this? 90 base. Hmm. Oh. I guess that kills, yeah. Oh. Our encounter for the root. Pog? <gasps> Can we just talk about this real quick? Gen 2, man. This man has beaten the Pokemon League, and the wild encounters he's finding are level 22. Level 22. How are you expected to add any new Pokemon to your team in, in this game? when this is what you get. Obviously his team's gonna suck then. Obviously the experience is gonna suck. Level 22. Man has like 12 badges. <sighs> this, I will, there's just some things about this game I will never understand, man. A match for you. Take a look at it. Suicude is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle with a wordy trainer to whom it can entrust itself. So we don't have a Master Ball this time. This is a legendary Pokemon. The goal is to catch it. We're good. Okay, now we gotta catch it. He only has 10 Dusk Balls. That's kind of sweaty. First ball? No way. What is well, this catch easy. rate? <laughs> wow. God, I have, like, I have like the best streamer luck when it comes to catching these things. This lets you wake up He's going to get a Snorlax here. Oh. That makes sense. Snorlax S tier Pokemon and Nuzlocke. Fantastic. Super bulky. Deals insane amounts of damage. Really, really strong. It's level 50 here too. Gets great moves. Awesome Pokemon to use. This is a pretty hard gym leader. It's pretty brave of him to go in like this. I'm curious to see how he beats it. 
There we go. There's no room for mistakes. First things first, Ooh, X special. Ooh, he's using X items with the setup. Those are, that's like the advanced item stress. That's when you, that's when you realize how broken items are, is when you start using your X items to set up your Pokemon and just sweep with them. Plus potions, plus the defenses. Pretty much any Pokemon in existence can win against any fight if you just throw X items at it until it can no longer be beaten by the lead Pokemon. And then you throw offensive X items on it and then you just sweep. Defense. We need this so we can take Psychics a lot easier. So I think this might be the best um, run on that we've ever reviewed on this channel for checking out um, how broken items really are and why you should ban them. He can just stall out the Trick Room here, by the way. It shouldn't be a problem. It's going to use Trick Room at first. This doesn't bother me that much because we're going to outlast the Trick Room and kill it. That is the exactly. plan. So now I need to start Dragon Dancing. I'm hoping that the AI like messes up and just uses Leaf Storm at some point. Because that would lower its special attack um, for the rest of the fight. Psychic is still a bit worrying because he can lower special defense with Psychic. It does have that property. But he's just going to... He's intent on in setting up the Trick Room. That's fine with me. Hypnosis has low accuracy, so we're hoping that we can he can just miss it. Like that. Plus three. That's good. He's not even going for Hypnosis again. We're on plus four. The P in PC definitely stands for Pork Chops. Why, why wouldn't PC just stand for pork chops? Plus five. After this heal, the trick room, I think, should wear off. And that's when we have to start sweeping. Twisted Dimensions returns. This is it. All right. Here we go. Congrats. You figured out <laughs> stat boosting is broken. Good job. Thank you, Tor is not the problem. We've done it. The sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated every gym in Kanto. This guy can't hurt us at all. Uh, so we're pretty much invincible in this fight because he's only got psychic type attacks. Okay, Mewtwo's that also works. Pressure, so I, I just need to weaken it, I guess. No! Uh oh. Oh, well. No! Looks like you're going to have to find another cheesy strategy. I might have an idea for what he might be going for. Good luck on this one, buddy. Oh, but now we got to contend with the capture odds. Yeah, it's like, it's like about, I think if it's paralyzed and this low on HP, it's about 1%. On the Mewtwo, it's probably a little bit higher. Uh, a, a little bit lower, like oh. 0.5 or something. Brace yourselves! It's another crit. Is he dead? Oh, oh my god, my that roll. Jesus! <gasps> Easy. Yes! We got him! Give a nickname. All right, awesome. He has all the tools he need to cheese the fight, right? This is it. This is the final battle. We either beat him or we die. Pokemon Trainer Red. Level 88 Pikachu. So yeah, imagine having to grind for this fight on cartridge on like level 30 wild Pokemon. It's not fun. I totally understand the desire to use legendaries here. Completely empathize with that. All right, Dragon Dance, Dragonite, sweep, Pog. Hail's fallen. Here we go. I need an X defend specifically for Vault Tackle because Vault Tackle has the potential to just kill me Good. instantly. Yep. Oh okay. God. Love that animation, by the way. Should be fine-ish. As long as it doesn't crit, I can survive it. I think yep. I need to stall Pikachu. I think that's stage one. I don't know if Wonk is the best person to stall this on, though. Okay. It's a little this bit scared to have to avoid all these crits, I'm not going to lie. I think Thunderbolt's still going to 2 a KO, right? So I think he's dead to crit. Oh. That's a critical, yeah. He that was oh. non-crit, <laughs> and he lived. Okay, never mind. That was unboosted, too. Unboosted. There was no crit. No additional damage. I can try heal stall, but the problem is if Wonka dies, we lose the fight. I can't afford the crit. We gotta stall and pray. I can't switch directly into anything. Yeah, I think trying to stall here might actually be the best move, I'm not gonna lie. Anxiety, anxiety while it does have higher special defense, it's super effective. Anxiety will not... I hate this. Come on. Can you use Ampharos? Why not use Ampharos? The reason for choosing Noodle is that there's a chance it might get paralysis off with the, its ability. 
and it might be able to transfer it. That's true. Awesome Is he dead to hail? I think he barely lives, right? Yeah, yeah, he lives, he lives. Okay. What I want it to do is paralyze Noodle. Because if it paralyzes Noodle, it paralyzes itself. An extra Synchronize defense yeah. here means I can live a Thunderbolt. Okay. I won't get all tackled. Don't get crit. Don't Unfortunately, your best, you're dead, right? Or does he live that? I think he's dead, right? Yeah, I feel like if you're gonna stall that, just do it with Ampharos, right? Like, what is that gonna do to Ampharos? Good hit for the team, though. That gets the Pikachu weakened. All right, here's how we're playing it. Come on, Donut. Ooh, interesting. Bait's the full restore, and that's actually so smart. Knowing that, I, I'm pretty sure he knew that he would full restore, so he went to Snorlax to so get the EQ off, but that's not going to kill, right? He's too underleveled for that to kill, no? Okay, we can Earthquake it. Perfect. Kill that electric rat. Come on, Donut. Uh, please do not die. That's a critical, me. right? Oh my god, he's dead to hail. <laughs> That wasn't even a crit. Holy sh! That Pikachu f***ed him up, man. I don't understand why he didn't just go to Ampharos if he was gonna stall this out. Jesus! It's gonna die to hail! No, yeah, it's not gonna kill. I don't really understand. <laughs> Is he gonna pull this through? I feel like he's f***ed, right? <laughs> To be fair, that Pikachu might be actually the most dangerous Pokemon on this team. Trump and use Thunder Wave. Anticipating that he heals and then Thunder Wave hits after. Oh no. Imagine if it was Raichu. If it was Raichu, it wouldn't have Light Ball Boost, right? Come on, Crumpet. Damn. Crumpet lives. That's how much damage the you Pikachu take from Volt dead. Tackle there? Never mind. Damn, you're so underleveled. That's I need so time tough. To heal. Anxiety, you have the highest special defense. You need to go in and tank. Yeah, going through with Lugia oh, here seems like the play, but a Flare Blitz is going to do so much. I think he lives one, but. Yeah. We're good. We can live a crit Flare Blitz even from full, and it gets a lot of recoil on the Charizard. Yeah. The problem is the Charizard is ideally what we want to set up on with Wonka. He's going to keep going for Flare Blitz. Good, good I thinking, do just good thinking. I have to heal a while. But we are killing it. I'm, I, the problem is when do I set up with Wonka? Because I was going to set up on this. I, feel like I have to can, set up on the... I feel like you can just switch it in now, right? And just set up. You should be fine, I think. I'm really curious to see how he pulls this out. Like, does he actually win this? On the Venusaur. With Wonka, that's the only other opportunity I will get. Okay, this is gonna hurt because this is because of Blaze. If this crits, anxiety dies. Yeah, yeah, he's in Blaze now. It's super dangerous. It's a good, 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 good thinking by him that he actually thought of Blaze there. I think most people don't. I think I even I forget about that most of the time. We're good. He's dying to hail here. Charizard's dead. I gotta go to Umbrella. Every Blizzard will hit and it stab. This is still gonna deal a lot of damage. Yeah, might be a two at KO actually. Not quite. Oh, okay, that's... All right, I, that's enough to actually get by with. Lapras isn't going to take any damage from the hail because it's part ice type. Oh! Ooh, the psychic special defense drops could f*** him here, yeah. How does he kill this? How much is that going to do? Not a lot. It's... Body slam is fine here. He's totally fine against that. Oh, Jesus, don't do that to me. What if I pressure stall him? How long do you think... That, that's a play. Yeah, that's a valid play. I have two Pokemon with pressure on my team. It's already used a lot of moves. How many potions have I got? You should Eight pressure stall him here, actually. Yeah, that's max, the correct play. 32 full restores. You're so super I don't want to hurt it because I want it to be in struggle. Welcome. I, I feel like RT Games has discovered a lot of things about Nuzlocks here that make them broken. And I think this is, like I said at the beginning, this might be a run where he discovers how broken items are. Because it's allowed him to do the setup strats with Dragonite and it's allowed him to do the stall strats, which are the two things that I think make Nuzlocke really boring if you're playing with items. Taking out items eliminates those, and I love that.
and then I want him to be in struggle for a while. The longer he struggles, the more beneficial that will be on Wonka, because it means we can set up longer. This is going to be a very long fight if we do it this way, but this might be the path to victory. Yep, that's how you win here. Struggle! <laughs> and now we just set up Dragonite and win, right? Oh, sh no, we got a crit! That's oh, a no. lot of recoil. Oh, that means it takes more recoil as well. Come on, Wonka! We gotta go quick! That was not part of the plan. I'm only gonna have time for one dragon dance. That's not gonna be enough. Nope, that's not gonna be enough. I need him to heal his Lapras. Oh, rip. How did that backfire? He's so f And we left Umbrella. I, I think you just fire out one attack here with your plus one dragon ant and just die to Snorlax. I think that might actually be the best move, honestly. In a very injured state. Or you pressure stall. <laughs> That's the other option. Mm. Mm. Come on, anxiety. It will Snorlax live Blizzard the first shouldn't one do like any attack. damage. Snowing special attack is so bad. Well, oh, he has a Yachi does. Berry. Oh man, I feel like you should have gotten leftovers on your Lugia for this fight. 100% would have done that. Leftovers on Lugia or um or on Suicune. It can tank it fine. It has a physical crunch. That's real bad. Oh, why didn't you say that? This is still gonna hurt. Don't crit. At least he's going for the blizzard, so it gave us a bit of setup for crunch. A stab, giga, impact. <laughs> oh no, this is a horrible combination. Well, he's getting his blizzards gone at least. That was all three yeah. of them. The question is, can I, can I hail stall the Snorlax? Absolutely, you can, yeah. You're f***ing Lugia. Missed. Okay. So I've had to hail stall one of his Pokemon, recoil stall two of his Pokemon, and then PP stall his Lapras. This is not the path to victory I thought we would be going for. And I was trying to turn off the hail for this match. That's the irony. I'll stall you more! <laughs> I need to also buff Umbrella just in case something goes horribly wrong and we need to switch in on Blastoise. I should still do that even though... He's going for the crunches now. How much does this do? Should still be dead. To... That's a crit. Oh no, he's, he's got dead. the crit. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. What? Oh! He lives I'm that? Heal up. Dude, Lugia is so broken. And then we're going to start launching Aero Blasts. What the we... We just need to get off this thing. We're actually gonna oh, kill apparently a Pokemon get leftovers from pick up. Interesting. Moves. I never thought I'd see the day. Arrow blast. Get Dude, it that down. surviving was insane. Nice crit. That was a crit as well. Oh my god, that did nothing. I yeah, have to Snorlax hit again. Snorlax bulk is pretty good. Yeah, base 154 Snorlax defense on Lugia. Still has Blizzard. We can probably stall it out of Blizzards. That's fine. Come on. All right, so. TLDR, he item stalls the Blastoise. The use it. Item stalls the Venusaur. And he wins. Good job. Wow. Uh, honestly, to his credit, seeing that play and going for it instead of having to grind on cartridge for like seven hours, totally fine. Honestly, pretty great. I will say, in conclusion, I think RT Games played this pretty well. I think this, if, if he sees this, I think this run should be the indication for him that it's time to step up and ban items because, man, did items come through in this run. And I think this is a beautiful case study as to why I think they're broken. So, yeah, uh, overall, um, they played really well. Good job. It was a fun run. There was a lot of hype moments. I enjoyed watching it. enjoyed the personality. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Something, something, outro, end card... I'm bad at them. Make sure to leave a comment and like to help my video do better in the algorithm. Why are you still here? Bye. Leave. Bye-bye.